Okay, YouTube, I moved our character a little bit. Because while I was on break, I felt bad that I was just in the menu. And enemies literally just spawned. I was looking out at the water. That's crazy that they just spawned like that. Oh, wow, he lived? I usually name my characters Taco Cat. And I've only been doing that for like, oh. Oh god, I've been doing that for like almost 10 years now, like 8 or 9 years. But I mostly do that in Pokemon games. But I feel it, I feel it. I don't play a whole lot of games where you actually get to name your characters either. Oh, yeah. So, I'll be very, I, again, no pressure on you at all. But if you do play through both Dark Cloud games, I will be very interested to hear your fucking unique opinion on which game you think is more serious. Because Dark Cloud fans argue to the fucking cows come home about which game is more serious. And I can't tell you. Honestly. But you're in for a treat. They're such unique games. And you're actually going to get to play at your own pace. Instead of watching two crazy people grind in a dungeon for 20 hours. Unless that's what you're about to do. Oh my god, please. Use your resources. Although, I will say, just be aware that there are going to be some things that are different between yours and Ducky's game. Um, because they are playing the enhanced mod. So your game's gonna be a better looking version of my game. Yeah. So yeah, yours is just gonna be a better looking version of mine. You, you have, I really don't want to go down because that's where those enemies fucked me over last time. Um, let's just go around and up. <laughs> no joke, you have probably the most knowledgeable group of people for Dark Cloud 1. I'm not that knowledgeable, but as, up until like where I am in the game, I probably know just as much as those guys now. Um, but like, I mean, those, those people, Devil, Tyler, Ducky, all of them, infinite knowledge of that game. Yeah, I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you, because you'll find out, depending on how you play, you'll find out pretty quickly. Um, but he's got some shit going on. He looks like he's on his last leg. I mean, like, as wide as his eyes are, I think he's seen the end of the world. I feel like he's from the episode of Rick and Morty where Morty's using a death crystal to follow exactly where he needs to be. So that man's eyes are just like peeled open constantly like, okay, where do I still see reality surviving? Oh god, don't do it again. Um, 
At least we know, like, confidently now that you don't have to chain them. You just need to kill 100 each time. Um, wow, thanks to Reese. I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks to Reese, now I know that I have to zone out. I, I would have just messed around. I probably would have wasted, like, 20 minutes, but they saved me 10. Although they did just waste probably seven months of my life once I fire up Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> Honestly, that was probably... Truth be told, that was probably the thing that stopped me from finishing Final Fantasy 3 was learning that on the 3DS or the DS version, you can't get all the ultimate weapons because the quests that you get them for are like exclusive to the Wi-Fi events and the Wi-Fi events aren't around anymore. So you can't get like the Ultima Blades and whatnot. And it's just like, oh. But they fixed it on the Steam version. So I might have to, especially, oh my God, I can't believe I never knew that the stat gains in this game were random. I've never done a 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 playthrough. Um, I don't even know if I might just sound like an idiot. Um, essentially what that is, is you play at the minimum levels of the game. So like you get the first character at level one, you get the second characters at level two, and then the last three all come at level three. Um, I've never done one of those playthroughs, but I think I could see myself trying it. Or not trying it, but trying to get like perfect HP on two two characters, Fraun and Balthier. It'd be insane. I would only do that on the PS4 version though. Um because the PS4 version of New Game Minus makes it so you can't get experience, whereas in the original version of the game, you have to hold an item to not gain experience. So I would rather do it on the PS4 version because you can be way more overpowered, and I like that. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's New Game Plus, but they, they take all your experience away. It's, I think, one of the only games that actually, like, coined the phrase New Game Minus. But when you play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, there's specifically New Game Plus and New Game Minus. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just really cool that, like, Square Enix was willing to, like, recognize New Game Plus and New Game Minus as, like, official things. <clears throat> oh, I just got hit with crazy drainage. I apologize. Worth it. And everybody runs. Oh, did we get away? We got away. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I ran the wrong way. Cut me off. He's gonna cut me off. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I yeah. think he left me alone. Sorry, I was trying not to die right there. That's <laughs> nice. Um, so 
I don't want to discourage you, because again, and not again, no shade towards them, but they were playing a different version. So if you find tram oil, I would save it until you're ready to use it. Because you, unless you are like super lucky, you're probably not going to see as many as like Ducky did. Uh, select on the PS5 would be the left side of the button thing. Is it like a PS4 button? I actually don't know a PS5 controller. Is it like a PS4? It's the left side of the home, I think. If it's that big pad. Is it the big pad? I actually don't know. I'll have to Google it. I actually don't know what a PS5 controller looks like. But it just takes a screenshot. That see that makes it see yeah on the PS4 that's the share. Let me PS5 controller. What am I looking at? Oh yeah, so the like the is it still the big thing in the center? Is that still a big like touchpad? Can you like click it on the left side of that? Can you click in the big touchpad on the left? I think that's it. Yeah, that's oh, is it the right side then? Okay, shit. I I actually can't remember all of a sudden. I think it has to do with the big touchpad in the middle. I think you click it. I think. Oh wow, it's been a while. My Yeah, my PS4 died from playing Ark. Well, Ark and Elden Ring. I think, yeah, you press the big, like, ah, yeah, no. Which side is it? I actually can't remember. And it's been so long, like, I have a controller in my hand, I, I can't. I'm certain it has to do something with this touchpad. I just think you click, ah, yeah. I think you just click it on one of the sides. Well, I can't say that because I've never actually played Dark Cloud 1. I'm, I'm thinking Dark Cloud 2, so, you know. But it'd be Georama still. It'd be the same thing. Alright, if that's not working... Oh, okay, he's not angry at us. We're at 63. Hey, I'm just gonna pass by my guy. Thanks. Um, if it worked, just... Keep on keeping on. If it didn't work, let me know and I can start Googling some stuff. Get the fuck away, get the fuck away, get the fuck away, get the fuck away, don't fuck up. Oh, in a cutscene, haven't tried. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should not. I gotta stop opening my windows. I just. I just love us. I think everybody loves a summer breeze through their house. But every time I do it, I end up coughing because I live in the fucking desert, and the amount of dust it brings in my house is stupid. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sorry. I hope I wasn't like yammering through that. Well, no, no offense, but you could control that if I was yammering. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm assuming. You get the gist of it from him and what you've seen, but more or less, the game has ran... I mean, it's basically a roguelite, but you save. It really is. Like, there really is no better way to describe it. You build up a hub world. You fucking... You do random dungeons for random loot. You learn from your mistakes, but it, you just... You get to save. It really is just a roguelite, but you save. Which is dumb. It's an oxymoron, but... Honestly... Dark Cloud 1... Should be the basis. If they make a third game, it should be the basis. I mean, survival games are just so big nowadays. If they made a, like, a time travel survival game... It'd be huge. Honestly, people would look at it and be like, oh, 
Seriously, is this just another time travel fucking survival game? Is this just art? Watch, there's gonna be dinosaurs in it or something. No, there's dragons. <laughs> but... I think it's one of the few times they were truly ahead of their... their... their calling. Ooh, 4,700 crit. Nice. Um, there's also a massive glitch in the game. I don't know how to perform it, but it will make you even stronger than Ducky and I within, like, 20 minutes of the game. So if you're interested in doing what we did but not grinding, it's absolutely possible. Uh, but I could not explain the glitch to you, but I could explain how to find the glitch. But, yeah, if you're ever interested in getting as strong as us in, like, no time at all, um, there is a glitch that can help you do it. I, again, I couldn't teach you how to do it, but I can tell you who makes it. Um, it's Pokemon Fan 4000. F-0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Instead of spelling it. I know I enunciated it weird, but. Nope, there is a way to access what is assumably a dev tool left over in the game by accessing a secret menu. Um, and it gives you an attachment that takes all of your weapon's stats to max. So you can just essentially make the best weapons in the game right off the bat. I purposefully didn't learn it because I would have messed around with it no matter what because I'm just curious like that and I like getting as overpowered as possible but I figured my first playthrough I would actually do it and I kind of did it I didn't do the same thing Ducky did Ducky went further than I did and it makes me kind of jealous but at the same time like I just straight up never achieved my dream um the sword I wanted, the sin the sword I wanted, the slingshot I wanted, they just never spawned. Nice. I respect that. Yeah, I'm trying to do a legit playthrough. Um, I don't think I've done a single glitch. There was a glitch I was thinking about doing. But it just, it stacks your bait. And dead. Oh, Did you save? Please tell me you saved. Did you get a chance to save? I'm gonna ask one more time. Yeah. Oh, let me hit you with a piece of advice that you might not have caught from our playthroughs because we had grinded so much. No, I was still on the first floor. wasn't paying attention. Oh, it do happen. It do happen. Um, so the mayor, and again, I don't want to backseat your game while I'm front seating my game. Um, but the mayor will refresh your repair powder, your water, your bread, your antidote, and I think something else. So try to always use those items before you talk to him. You can literally stand in front of him and keep asking for those items over and over again. Um, so like, go as long as you can without building up anything in the first town. And then when you're like running out of inventory space because you have too many items, then you should be able to build everything um, automatically at that point. Uh, I would also try to save in between dungeons because every so often, I don't want to spoil it too much, but every so often you're going to come across a certain challenge and if you're a perfectionist, you're, wanna, you're gonna want to go back. Um, if you're not a perfectionist, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's up to you. Is there a way to invert camera controls? Possibly if you hit triangle, are you in the menu? Did you go triangle menu settings? 
If you can't find one that way, I apologize, no. I don't know why, I just tried to check. I'm playing a totally different game. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Holy shit, let's kill these guys and heal. <clears throat> I would assume there's a way to invert the camera controls in the menu. I mean, like, that's... That's like PS1 stuff. Oh, really? <clears throat> Excuse me. My gosh, I am dying from eating allergies over here. Um, wow, I apologize. I hope I didn't just scam you into getting a game that you don't enjoy. Um, I know the perils of picking up a game and it doesn't feel right. So I hope you can enjoy it still. But that's weird. <clears throat> that's really weird that it wouldn't have that. I was grabbing a drink. <clears throat> it's a PS2 game. For God's sakes. That's weird. I honestly... <clears throat> and I don't want to sound offensive to anybody. I don't know if it's some sort of, like, autism or if I'm just on some sort of... I mean, everybody's on a spectrum. That's how the fucking brain works. The goddamn meat computer. Um... <clears throat> if everybody was the same, we'd be the blob people. Anyways, before I get too off topic, um, I have noticed over the last few years that there are a bunch of games that I play that are inverted and non-inverted, and I just never knew. It wasn't until I, like, switched to PC and I actually had to pay attention that, like, I just fucking weirdo mode don't notice that I'm switching between controls. But yeah, it wasn't until I, I got into PC gaming that I started noticing. But I do apologize. I was unaware if there was a way to change before you purchase the game. But in my defense, I never fucking looked. Alright, be it. Be it. Be it. Oh! Damn it! Uh, where do you upgrade? Okay, so... You already have the ABS points enough to upgrade a weapon. So you're going to open the menu, go to weapon, go to the weapon, go to customize. And then there will be two little squares. And when you select what items you want on the right side, you drag them to the two little squares. And then you hit upgrade. And that will upgrade your weapon. Um, if you want to see what to upgrade, you go back to the weapon. And you go down to the bottom where it says build up. And then you'll scroll through with the triggers to see what things are red to build up. You most likely only have the dagger though, so there's nothing to build up, so you can do whatever you want. Um, if you don't have any items to upgrade with, the most guaranteed way is to kill an enemy with a throwable, like an ice gem or a thunder gem um, or a bomb. But those are kind of rare at your point in the game. Oh wait, I need to get out of here. Um, where am I running to? So the main thing I would focus on... If it's... I mean like... It's your, lit it's your first time playing Dark Cloud. So, like, I'm trying to think. The main thing I would focus on 
is trying to get a new weapon. So you're going to want to look for these, I mean, you've probably seen them, giant brown chests. Basically survive as long as you can, make it back to the mayor, get your free items, and then get back to the dungeon. Uh, but you're looking for these big brown chests to get a new weapon from. Oh, I swear to God, if you get a Buster Sword, I will be so not only so happy for you, but jealous. It is not a fun time. It's an awful sword to upgrade at your point in the game, but it starts with four slots, so like it kind of balances out. Um, but yeah, I would really focus on just surviving the dungeon and getting back to the mayor to get your free resources. Um, <clears throat> again, you're going to come across... There's boss fights, there's other things in this game. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. And they'll, they'll happen every few dungeons. So you'll want to go back every time to restock your supplies and save anyways. But yeah, just be ready for like... The one time you walk into a dungeon and it's a boss fight and you didn't expect it. But as soon as you get a new weapon, you can start building up that weapon into new weapons. Your basic dagger won't ever build up. Um, do prepare. You are going to... And I don't want to jinx you. Um, but you are probably at some point going to accidentally break a weapon. Um, if you don't, <clears throat> congratulations. You've won. <coughs> Excuse me. But... It's just, it's so easy to do. It's so easy to accidentally break a weapon. So that's one complaint I do have about the game. I love Dark Cloud, it's a great time. Um, but the swords are all essentially the same attack. So as you build up new swords, they'll all feel the same. They'll have different lengths and like reaches. But um, yeah, they'll all swing the same. So if you like that, you're good. Um, <clears throat> no, you are, you are in for a good time. Um, I think Tyler got to where I was in the story in like five hours last night. So like, it's really play at your own discretion, kind of. I'm just a slow person. That's just how I play. <laughs> Wow, nice. You deserve Mickey's key for that. Does that have a name? Does Mickey's key have a name? I'm assuming it does. Is it called like the kingdom key or something like that? Or the hearts keychain or something? it's so sad that it's not in the game like files at all even like you can't even mod it I'm sure you could mod it in but like I'm shocked it's like not hidden or anything like a dev tool or something I was thinking, <clears throat> since I'm doing an overpowered playthrough, I would actually, is it Fenrir? Is that Cloud's Keyblade? 
which is like often considered the worst one because it has negative combo. Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking about trying to use it as much as I could just because I love it. It's the coolest looking one! The Buster Sword Keyblade? Come on! Why they gotta make it bad? Honestly, it, it also takes like two attack points that I have to grind off because I think it has the highest attack in the game at like eight or something crazy. I'd have to check again. I don't know that much about the game. But also, no, I think it's like Dragon's Crest is just as cool looking and better because it doesn't have anything negative about it. So at least the stealing part of this is all done. We're gonna we're gonna hilariously move on to another steal situation after this, but it won't be as bad. It won't be nearly as bad. Um, it's a joke compared to this. I knew one of you was gonna trip that. All right, we'll just trip these ones. I know you guys are. Um. We're gonna have to farm a dragon after this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. My brain still thinks Kira's at the bottom, it's funny. <laughs> um, and yeah, let me know if at any point I'm spoiling parts of Dark Cloud for you, because yeah, I, I'm just learning the game as well, and I've only learned like the first four. Should I take Tram? So, <clears throat> the enemies in the back are twice as strong, um, but the items are always the same. So like, they're always gonna be ultra rare, ultra good items. So if you just wanna go back there and grab the items, that's totally valid. But the enemies are super tough. Um, so I would save it until you're strong enough to go back there and grind. Because when you take the tram back, all the enemies will respawn. So I like to do it once I'm ready to like grind levels and stuff. But if you run back there and grab all the chests, you will be rewarded. But the enemies will respawn. So if you want to exit, you'll have to run. It's, yeah. It sounds risk rewardy, but it's one of those situations that really just the rich get richer. Because by the time you can get back there and like grind, you're really going to be getting fucking way too strong. Um. <clears throat> but again, it's up to you. I again, I saved them because in the end, after like 12 hours, I think I only get like six of them, seven. So the wait, you already got one. That's ridiculous. I mean, like, if you already got one, if you want to take it, go for it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the enemies are twice as strong back there. So, but again, the, the rewards you will receive are most likely great. It's just, if you'll be able to beat all the enemies, probably, probably not. <laughs> I mean, although it is possible that you could get repair powders from the chests back there helping you beat the enemies, but... Yeah. Um. No, on okay. Honestly, the only reason I would think no, absolutely, is because you could save the keys until you have another character, and then you have a better chance every time you go to the back floor to get their weapon as well. Because right now you can only get swords back there, but once you have other characters, you can get their weapons. So that would be my only, like, this is my absolute reason why I wouldn't do it right now. 
But if it's too late, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It sounds like you're gonna get more of them anyways. But if you've already gotten one, you're fine. Um, but that would be my, my biggest argument towards saving it. Placing some houses, very nice, very nice. Um, I don't want to backseat again, but I would say place the old gaffer's buggy last, or odd gaffer. I don't know what it's translated to in your game. It might be odd gaffer. Um, <clears throat> because again, as soon as you place this, actually, as soon as you place the store and the old hag, the mayor stops giving you free stuff. Again, I hate backseating, but I think everybody likes free stuff. But yeah, as soon as you place the old hag and the odd gaffer, um, you stop getting free stuff from there. I feel like that's fair. I feel like everybody would want to hear that. It's free shit. Yeah, because as soon as you... You have to start buying your own bread, water, repair powder, and potions. As soon as you build those uh, places. Again, sorry if I just ruined that for you, but... Nice! You'll have to po post what your towns look like in the Discord, too, when you're done. Everybody's towns always look different. I was just looking at Ducky's town today. I only have Gamma House right now and River. Macho, okay. I was like, oh shit, wait. <laughs> I can't help you. Um, that's funny, you got Macho, that's, that's the house I got first as well. Did you literally get a tram oil on your first floor? I would say. That's so good. Wow. The only... I mean, a weapon. The only thing better than that would be a weapon. But, like... Again, if you went to the back floor, you could have potentially gotten a weapon. You could have also potentially gotten one hit killed by any enemy back there. Um... Wow, that's great. So yeah, I would basically just keep going yeah. through the, I would save, go through a level, save, go through a level, save. Um, and then when you get like your first teammate, I can't remember when it is. There's 15 floors in the first dungeon. Um, I can't remember exactly when you get a teammate. For God's sakes, I think there's like two boss fights before the first teammate. Um, spoilers. Um, then you could start using, probably by then, you could start using the tram oils, and, like, if you can't kill the enemies back there, at least just trying to grab a weapon or something like that for either character. There are two or three <laughs> weapons you're really looking for. Um... The first one, I would say, is probably a kitchen knife. A kitchen knife is a sword. It's a butcher. It's like a little butcher's knife. Um, but it's technically a sword, a short sword. Um, and it has the ability quench on it. And it will make your thirst meter go down slower, which will be very helpful in the long run. Um, you'll just find it randomly. I found, like, five of them. <clears throat> Um, the Buster Sword is the one that Ducky sold that was going to upset me. Um, if you find that, you are set. And then the other one is Steve. But I don't want to say too much about Steve yet. If you find Steve, you'll know. It's pretty obvious. Ooh. I'm so excited for your journey. I wonder which way you'll go. Nice, we got to level up. Everybody was really surprised with the way I went with my weapons. So, 
I wonder if they'll have the same reaction to how you go. I felt like I went the coolest way possible. I have the Satan, again, I don't want to spoil things, but I have Satan's axe right now. And when I told everybody I had Satan's axe, they were like, really? And it was just like, <laughs> what do you mean really? Like, why the fuck would I not? In Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper in this mofo. Not really, I don't think Satan's the Grim Reaper, but it looks badass. It's as close to a scythe as an axe can really get, while still being like a broad axe. Oh, I honestly hope you do get a Buster Sword, just because like you deserve it. It's your first fucking playthrough ever of the Dark Cloud series. I either hope you get it this game, or if you ever play Dark Cloud 2, your experience is in that game. Because I'm a bigger fan of Dark Cloud 2, personally, but, like, I don't think there's anything as special. And the, the, the stuff you can get in Dark Cloud 1 feels way more like... <gasps> Than like Dark Cloud 2. Dark Cloud 2 is way more tame than the stuff you can get. If you're gonna get a reward in Dark Cloud 2, you are most likely expecting it. But like Dark Cloud 1, those chests, holy shit. They're actually like crack. They're so addicting. Literally lottery ticket. Um, all right, here we go. Let's take a let's take another stab at this shit. I love this. Oh my god! If one of them managed to catch, oh my god! If they caught me with sleep, if they caught me with sleep and then he hit me with Fyraga, I would be cooked. At least I would have saved all my stuff. Or my Salamand High so or What is it called? Salamand Hal Sion. Hal Kion. Hal H A L C O N. Hal Hal Soyon. Hal 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 Subcard. like actually do it this time yeah. uh. what an asshole I'm gonna kill his family with the sword once I get it. I know that's horrible to say, and I hope that doesn't get me in trouble because out of context, it's horrible. Um, and it's still horrible with context, but like, my God, I just want the sword. I didn't want to have to kill 20 of him. Oh, there's also a lot more stuff to do at the end of the game in the second one. Um, not that there isn't in the first one, but if you do actually play both games, um, wrapping it all up, I don't like bats. Yeah, welcome. If you would have said anything else than that, I would have thought you were inhuman. Um, I think the best strat for bats is the charge attack. I just wait for him to get close and I unleash the charge attack. Yeah, 
you hold X, he should charge up an attack. He should start, like, glowing and teetering back and forth on, like, two feet, like... Ha, na, 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 wah! special but it will do more damage to your weapon I think wild game it's one of those it really is one of those games that as soon as you start playing it you're just like how did i not know about this, this is weird <gasps> no don't attack it i think i can just get away from it let's just clear out everybody around it run from it. How about that? So the highest it is. Get out of here, guys. Come on. No, don't kill it. No! <laughs> Did you at least save? I mean, please tell me you saved at least this time. You're totally you're totally fine if you saved, but that's yeah, that's the how the cookie crumbles. Actually, just before I went in, nice. I, um, <laughs> my first ever back floor, I died and lost two swords. Well, no, I lost two swords, then I died, I should say. Um, so it, <laughs> it does actually get worse. I'd pretty much given up. I lost the swords and had lost all motivation. Oh, are you at the cat already? Nice, nice, nice. No, you would not have seen the cat, would you? Wow, look at that. There's still stuff in the... Oh shit, is it real? I've only played the game once, okay? <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny though, that like, you've seen like, so much of the first dungeon, but there, we still managed to surprise, there's, oh my gosh. That's fucking, that's hilarious. Wonderful. Okay, so that's more of those guys. I'm back on one of those coasts. Yeah, let's go back up. Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that... Oh, that's a weird looking symbol. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. No, I, um... I've had a lot of fun playing Dark Cloud. 
I've really enjoyed seeing the differences between it and Dark Cloud 2. It, as a standalone game, is phenomenal. Um, it is the most PS1 looking PS2 game ever, but like, I'm just having a great time with it. Um, okay, so it appears I was already here recently and killed a bunch of stuff, but there's nobody here. Dark Cloud 1 really does suffer from being, like, just too old, I think, and niche. Um, am I, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, okay, have you seen any of the, no, get away from him. Have you seen any of the question marks yet? The big healing pools of water? Um, those are, I mean, literally lifesavers. Wait till you see one of those bad boys. Um. But yeah, that's another one of the reasons why I like to keep the mayor. Or I shouldn't say I. A lot of people like to keep the mayor. It's because you can drink that water for free and know that at the end of the dungeon you're going to get another one. I tried to cheat the system by unlocking the house that lets you store stuff and going to the mayor to store things, but he was just like, oh no, now that you've got storage, you should be all right. And it's like, oh, eat shit. He and I did not actually say that to each other, but it's what was said. Yeah. I can feel it. You didn't actually have to say the words to feel the emotion. <laughs> oh, you might also just be on a unique, there's um, they're called trials there's like special floors that have unique like effects to them so you might actually be on a floor that has like increased thirst as well i didn't even think about that yeah pretty much and like again at the end of every dungeon if you eat the bread you drink the water you upgrade your weapons you're saving like 200 dollars so like are you being a cheap ass yeah absolutely but, like, that shit stacks up. <laughs> Pretty much. I I literally got as, like, much free stuff from him as I could. Um, I got free stuff from the mayor until I ran out of room. And that's why I literally went for the storage person first. Because I was just like, oh, maybe I can store stuff and go back to the mayor and get stuff and store stuff. And But no, as soon as I put the storage person down, he was just like, yep. You're good now. And it was just like, I'm not, though. Like, I mean, ignore the fact that I have $65,000. I'm not helping the town out. Oh, and I don't know if you have anxiety or if you care at all about stuff like this, but I have anxiety and I care about stuff like this. Um, the random, there's little blue circles that spawn. I don't know if you remember those from anybody else's playthroughs, um, but they have random effects pretty much. One of the effects is that it doubles your money, and it says your funds have increased a little. Dungeon floors seem to be randomized on layouts. Yes! The enemies should be the same, I think. I don't know if the number of them are same, but like the enemies on the floor should always be the same. Um, but yeah, the layouts are always different. Even the same floor will have two different layouts. It's so close to a roguelite. Yeah. It's so close. Ha. Um, even the Atla you get are randomized. You could theoretically keep playing the first level over and over until you got Atla you liked and then build the town exactly the way you want because it's always randomized. I was actually thinking about doing a playthrough like that where I basically kept running every dungeon over and over until I got like a perfect layout that I wanted where I got like good weapons, a like back floor key, and some other yeah. stuff. It's just like, okay, that's floor one. 
Let's move on from there. Um, it increases your damage. And then there's also a glitch with it where when pumped up with energy pumped up with energy wears off of you. Um, the game goes to check your statuses and it's just like, okay, pumped up with energy is ended. What do we want to do? And if you're poisoned and pumped up with energy, the poison will go with the energy because the game tries to like send you back to normal, but obviously your normal was poisoned, but the game doesn't think that. So it technically makes you stronger for like 30 seconds. It might be a minute. I think it's 30 seconds. Um, like 50% bonus damage or something like that. But it can also cure you if you're like ailed with goo or poison or cursed. But again, that's more of an exploit. What it's supposed to do is again, make you stronger. It's also one of the worst abilities in the game because it lowers your speed by like 60%. You just like, you just suddenly are crawling around the dungeon. And yeah, I mean, you've seen how much damage the enemies do. If you slow down that much, it is a death sentence. Alright, I hate sounding desperate, but how many times have we done this? Like, I know I've killed this guy at least two times on my own. Um, I know I... Uh... I'll take this guy out real quick. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh yeah, he is a thirst trap. Um, again, I don't know for sure, but you might also just be on a dungeon that has increased thirst, but yes, it, it, the game is a bit ridiculous. Yeah. I actually momentarily quit playing the game because I got a dungeon where all of my oh did he just I don't know what he just did um where my thirst was increased by two and I didn't realize it and my character was just chugging all of the water I had saved up over like 10 hours of playing and I was just like no oh, this is absurd I'm sick of playing this game but then when I went back and played later, I was just like, oh shit, it was literally stealing my water from me. Like, it it was dumb of me to even drink my water. But that could also very easily not be what's happening to you. Ooh, I should have done the Kingdom Hearts too. I feel like I might have to take a nap after this. How long have I been streaming? Oh shit. Ha, almost six hours. Um No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bust out the Kingdom Hearts 2 grind. And then I'm gonna call it. And then I'm gonna take a big fat cat nap after that. So we're gonna finish this grind, then we're gonna do Kingdom Hearts 2, and then I am gonna take a big fat cat nap for the day.
Yeah, because if I can get two hours in of Kingdom Hearts 2, we should get to level 31. And that's just, ugh, that's just so much closer feeling. Yeah. The best part is, is by the time I get to the Pride Lands, I'll be so overpowered that, like, grinding out the last levels will feel like a cakewalk. keep thinking about, and I'm sure you've come across them, so I don't feel bad about spoiling it now. Um, if you haven't, I feel bad, but I, don't, I think you're good. Um, I keep wanting to, like, reset my game and farm for better weapons in the first dungeon, like Ducky did, but I don't want to do the duels over again. I hate duels so much. I think duels are one of the only things about Dark Cloud 1 that I actually hate. I shouldn't even say that I hate them, because I like the rewards from them, but I hate everything else. I hate almost every aspect of the duel system besides the rewards. I just like rewards. It's as simple as that. Oh, I just spoiled it then. Uh, well, you're about to experience a duel. I'm so sorry. Um, make sure you save. But I, my, oh, it's, you should be able to fix it. Should be good. You should just have to hit it with the old repair powder and then go talk to the mayor again to fill up on repair powder. Unless you have the legendary broken dagger. Oh, I just cracked my back. That was phenomenal. So, I'm going to spoil some stuff for you because you're about to go into it, but duels are quick time events. It's about six quick time events in a row. If you miss one button press, so like, if you get all the button presses, you get a reward and you move on. If you miss one of the buttons by like a millisecond or two, I don't know timing, um, you fail and you have to try again. If you get perfect button presses on every single button press, you get an insane reward. So I did a playthrough where I got perfect button presses on all of them. But I'm going to be honest with you, it sucked because I'm bad at game. <laughs> Damn it, he didn't drop nothing. Um, you can put your one repair powder up in your hot bar, your little three slots at the top of your, or near your character, and that way you can always remember if you have it or not. Wow, that's big. So, like, when you're ready, if you want to use one now just to get, like, items early or try for a weapon, you can. But again, I, yeah, I would wait till you have the character and... Yeah, because, I mean, I can't remember exactly what floor it is. That's really good. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you, wait, you died, like, instantly? Did you even get to open the chests? Because that actually sucks, if you didn't even get to open the chests. Did they spawn kill you off the tram? Oh, I hate it when that. Oh, I hate it when that happened. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> yeah, I've 
I have had that happen. I've had that happen. I've had it happen where there's an enemy behind me and I go to swing my sword and I hit the enemy behind me and it does like four damage to my weapon and then I hit the enemy in front of me doing like eight total and my sword breaks. Um, I charged up an attack one time. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Oh wait, no I can't. He's, my teammates can. Um, yeah. This one time, I was charging up an attack, and when I went to unleash the attack, another guy ran up, so I hit two enemies at once that way. That broke a sword. And then I th I'm pretty sure I just died after that. I probably just stood there and gave up. Um, reset my game. But, no, um, the one last piece of advice I will give you is the game gets infinitely easier every time you take so you basically what you want to do is find weapons get them to level five and then put those weapons on other weapons Oh, yeah, I've maybe got two hours left in me. I'm gonna have to take a fucking midday catnap. Wow, way to go. Way to get me back on these games. I didn't make massive progress, but I made progress. I mean, we got one of the- well, there's two items we needed. We got one of them. Yeah, no, it, it's... I think what it actually expects is for you to keep dying repeatedly and not progress so quickly. I genuinely think it expects you to keep dying on the first few levels. I don't think less of you, but I think the game does. Because I also, when I was doing my playthrough on Twitch, I was trying to do voices and stuff like that. And at one point, I was just like, I'm not doing this. Like, what the fuck, game? Stop. Also, I was really pissy earlier that I got the item I wanted so quickly and I've stolen from this guy like four times now and I haven't gotten the item I wanted again so I feel better I was like really annoyed that I got the item I wanted so quickly but stolen from like four or five times since then and we haven't gotten the item since so Makes me feel better. Makes me feel like I actually earned it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, what is that? dog waking up upside down spinning and flipping on the couch like a crazy person because he's trapped in his blanket Ooh. i'm gonna try very hard to play kingdom hearts 2 after this i'm getting super sleepy it's that fucking cinnamon roll man it's trying to take me down if i had eaten two of them i would be down by now god damn there's way too- I- those things are so tasty, but I put- there's way too much sugar in them. They're- they're too decadent. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Sorry, I missed your message. Um. Oh god, hopefully he doesn't ask you to hold the fucking flashlight. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, no, take your time, drive safe. 
I will be here. Um, actually, that's not true. If I'm not here, I apologize. I probably fell asleep. But I should be playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, no, absolutely. But it's one of those things where it's just like... Even if I get a little bit done today, I've still got like fucking 12 hours to do. So every little bit that I do get done is just a little more. Um, but... Uh, I don't want to like sell my stream short, but I might actually watch Devil later, so I don't want to cross the streams. So I would like to get the two hours done. Um, but what do I got? Yeah. I gotta kill 80 more of these guys, and then I'll probably take a 30 minute. Yeah, I think he's gonna be on later today. He usually gets on around 4 p.m. my time, and it's 10.30 now. So yeah, if I play for another 40 minutes, 30 minutes, and then take a 30 minute break and then stream for two more hours, I can get a good chunk of Kingdom Hearts done, take a nap, and then Devil should be on for like four hours. And I won't, because it's not that I don't like streaming whenever I want to stream, it's just I feel bad not like actually sitting there and supporting other people. Because, like, I want my communities to grow. I want the games I love to grow. Because, like, I'm sick of the AAA sphere just as much as other people. But, like... And I don't want to sound like a fucking salesman. But the difference is, is I'm still playing these games. Like, I want more people to play these games. Because I think that's how the industry will change. I think we have to keep buying these older games on the PlayStation Store so Sony actually has the data and they can't fight it. That people still want these games. Does that mean we're gonna get a good Dark Cloud 3? Probably not. But maybe Dark Cloud 6 is good. Um <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean like if I'm if I'm fucking falling asleep at the wheel, I'm not gonna stri uh, strive. I'm already doing it. Uh, I'm not going to stream, but I would like to get another two hours of Roxas done. Because then that should, like... I'd be 31. So yeah, that should be, like, literally ten more hours of Roxas grinding. And then it's, I mean, literally just a Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough until I need strength boosts. Oh, thank you. Um... I have no idea how many people are here because it makes me nervous, but I do need three people here so that my average goes up. Actually, I need more than three people because my average is fucked. Um, so I do appreciate that. Thank you. My, my streaming average is fucked because I stream so much to nobody at two o'clock in the morning my time. But again, I'm not gonna not stream just because nobody's watching me. I hate that shit. Fuck you, Twitch. I hope you're listening to this. They literally want you to not stream if nobody's watching. Like, it's so fucking weird. It's one of the reasons I've gotten comfortable with, like... Trying to get my streams done before Devil streams. Because it's not like I even feel competition or anything like that. It's just like... Not because you're it's lurking. Um, I, I would rather be active in their streams and have them active in my streams. Yeah, also, not many people watching Dark Cloud if you and Ducky not on. I don't know. See, yeah, that's kind of true, but like, I guess maybe it's just the fact that I've been doing it for two years now. I feel like a lot of people stream it, but they do stream it and then leave. That. That is probably the main thing. Is like I see so many people streaming it, but they only stream it for like three or four days, and then they're gone. I'd have to check, but I think I have the most Dark Cloud 2 content on YouTube. Not like unique videos or anything. Like I mean, I just make gameplays. I just play yeah. the game and record myself. But I think I have almost 600 hours of Dark Cloud 2. Oh, you know, I might have to restart Dark Cloud 1 and just do an ultimate playthrough. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm... I don't want to say a weirdo. Oh no, lag is back. Oh, you in the truck. Um, I don't want to say I'm a weirdo, but I definitely realize that there's like a certain type of gamer, and mostly speedrunners. Um, I don't know when the grinders will get their day, but there's a certain type of gamer who can play the same game for 20 years. And not it's not that you, we don't get sick of it, it's just yeah. you find new ways to play. It's as simple as that. You just change the way you play. Um, but like, there's definitely a name for it. But like, I mean, we're not, yeah, we're not speed runners. Some of us are, Duck, uh, Tyler was trying to speed run. He can pretend he wasn't, but he was. <laughs> but no, I think that's genuinely like one of the only ways we can fight the triple A sphere. And like, cause you can't fight them. You have to change it. You literally have to change it. They're not going anywhere. Unless you actually think you have the ability to get rid of the largest gaming industry, like, that's ever existed. Um, like, be my guest. Um. You have to change them. And the only way to change them is to show them that you're tired of playing the games they're releasing and you're just gonna buy the cheaper older games. Cause they're either gonna have to make the older PS2 games cost more, or they're gonna have to realize like, shit, why are they buying all these $15 games? Like, oh shit, our other games are suffering. Why are they buying these $15 games? Like, I don't know, maybe they like them. And then we're either going to get some weird-ass renaissance of new game developers making old games, or we're going to have some old game developers brought back in to teach new game developers how to do old games. It would be sick, but I think it would be the other way around. I think we'd get the new developers making old games, which wouldn't be bad. There's a lot of games that are retro-looking and turn out great. All right, where is that jackass? I want to rob him. I'm going to rob his whole fucking family. Every single one of them. Yeah. The only problem with them was it wasn't their game. So, like, they're a great company. But, like, they already said that they're not making another one. And, like, that's great. But we need more, like... And I don't even know how to say this, because from what I understand, Naughty Dog might actually be regretting what they did. But we need more Naughty Dogs realizing, like, why don't they want our fucking ninth Last of Us remake? And it's like, dear God, they want fucking Jack and Daxter. They want this. They want, like, this. They want that. Um, but just, like, there's something about Sony and, like, old games that they're just like, no. Although I shouldn't even say that, because, like, Ratchet and Clank and stuff came back. But, yeah, no, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3 is insane. I almost bought Baldur's Gate 3. I was so close, but... Those kinds of games are... I like them, but they're too... It's just too much RNG. At a certain point, I, like, start save scumming just because I want to see my story play out, and the RNG is getting in the way of my story. And, like, I, I know that's part of the story, but, like, if I've worked super hard for, like, a crazy build and all of a sudden it goes wrong because I roll a 1, it's just like, okay, no, I'm not having fun now. Yeah. But no, I will agree that that game is probably the closest we've had to a 10 out of 10 in recent years. I would say it's probably of the last few years the only game that you can place anywhere above 9 and it's safe. 
Now, it did have some issues when it came out. I don't know that much about the performance issues in Act 3, but I did hear some issues. I heard murmurs around the internet. I heard things. Yeah. But, like, Capcom, Gearbox, um, Naughty Dog, Bethesda... <laughs> Who else? So I've never even liked CD Projekt Red, but like I'm, I'm sick of all those companies, man. And I, I'm tired. I am tired of the cycle of like, oh, it's not us. We want to make a good game, but it's the shareholders. And then it's just like the devs are over there just like, it's not us. It's the fucking project managers. And the project managers are like, it's not us. It's fucking corporate, bro. It's like, it's fucking somebody. And at this point, it's not the shareholders. Because, like, we as people have proven that they can release FIFA nine times. And it will still sell well. So, like, somebody on the development side is actually just choosing to put that many pixels in every girl's ass. Instead of giving us a good game. Somebody is to blame. And it's not the old people on the ticker tape. Because, again, they couldn't tell you what a good game looks like. So, like, somebody needs to, like, cut back on the ass pixels. And make a damn good game. Yeah. And again, call me nostalgic with rose-colored glasses. I don't give a fuck. I'll just judge you for being blind. But, like, I think games like this look... I mean, this is... This is... The bottom of the line, I think. But I think games that look like this are fine. I, I, I think we're wasting too much time on fucking graphics. I think that's it. I literally... I think that's the problem nowadays. I think so much energy has gone into fucking the engines and making them look ultra-realistic. That we've just, yeah. we've fucking ruined the trajectory of gaming. I don't want to blame Crisis, but I'm going to blame Crisis. Honestly, I'm going to blame Crisis. I think Crisis spawned the fucking whole graphics race. And it just, it, ugh, rubs me the wrong way. Maybe it's just because I'm a Pokemon fan from the like, like gold, silver, crystal era, but I think I think stylizations always peak. I think working with what you have is the best. Because again, I think Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow are fucking ugly. I don't think those games are playable. But like, I think there's a limit and an, uh, like a medium to be found. Oh, I didn't want to say anything so I could get a clip. God damn it. Ugh, okay. Um, hour and 20 minutes. What should I do? There's no way I can get another one done in this episode. All right, let's just run back and save. You bastard. I could theoretically just reset, but that's so much wasted loot. That's so much wasted loot, money, and everything else. It's not worth it. All right, so I'm going to run back. We're going to save. Um... I'm just going to sprint back. I am full on. I'm absolutely full on the items they've been dropping. Um... So let's just get back.
So yeah, I'm gonna go make some pasta or something. You know what? Actually, let me get the water boiling. that starts that only takes like a minute to get started and then it saves me like five minutes so once i get out there it's ready um oh yeah we'll get some kingdom hearts action done i'll take a nap i might not even take a nap sometimes i get a second wind in the middle of the day and then i sleep like a baby at night i slept like a baby last night but who knows? People are allowed to sleep two nights in a row. But yeah, let's just kill some fools. You know what? Let's check out our... I want to get a full hour and 40. So let's, uh... end this stream with the license board. Let's see what we have left in there. That, that's, that's the exit, right? Yes. The license board has to be close to done, right? Okay. Yep, that kind of sucks. There was no way I was getting another 100 kills, I think. Maybe. I mean, maybe. <laughs> What am I at? I would have probably been at like 16. Yeah, we'll just get out of here. Um. Wait, am I? I think I'm lost. No, I'm good. I am going to, at some point, try to make my own game. I don't know how that's going to go. But once RPG Maker goes on sale, I'm going to sit my butt down for like two years and actually try to make a game. I might not even really stream games for like a while. I might just stream myself making shit. Because I am tired of the game scale. I'm literally tired of it. Like, I'm, I'm promoting old games. I'm going to make a game. I'm going to do everything I can. My whole, my whole concept is to make a game where you're never wasting your time, too. I want to make a game where you can grind for a thousand hours, and at no point were you wasting your time. And it's just like, what did you do for a thousand hours? It's like, dude... I'm not even done. I don't know. What do you what do you mean? It's like I'm just grinding, man. I wanna like it's like survival games. Survival games do it so well. You always feel like there's and it doesn't feel like you're wasting your time either. In a survival game, you're just like, damn, I was cutting trees and fucking harvesting oil and getting all this other shit, but I fucking I needed gunpowder too. I could have been doing more. And again, it doesn't feel like you're wasting, you're having fun, you're out there farming, you're doing shit, you're getting resources, but there's just always more to be done, and the whole time you're doing it, you're just like, damn. Oh wait, I could have been doing this. That's fine. I, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. The next two hours after this break are going to be some uh, rambling man, like, special. I'm a rambling man. But thank you for being here. It means a lot, Carp. 
corp, corp. Oh my god! Good old magic harp. Corp, corp, corp. That's funny, I already sold the mithril blade. I never even thought about holding on to that. That's so wild. What a fucking collector. Wow, I've never thought about collecting items in this game like that. That's so fucking damn. Never have I thought about doing that. That's fucking hardcore. Oh shit, wrong bag. Alright, how much did we get? What did we end up with? Ooh! Big stretch. Oh yeah, a lot of shit. A lot of fucking shit. Okay. I should probably swap characters here soon, shouldn't I? Probably. Yeah, probably. Alright, I am going to end it here, YouTube. Um, yeah. Here, now that I have the disc in my hand. Alright, so I've got the disc in hand, and I'm gonna go. Boop. Boop. And thanks for stopping by and watching.